Uh, we're going to invite uh, Mrs. Wajohi, who closely works with the youth. Uh, we're going to speak to us for Mrs. Wajohi. Let's uh, put, put our hands together and welcome Mrs. Wajohi. His Excellency, the High Commissioner, the ministers of the gospel that are here, the two families, friends, and relatives. My name is Agnes Wanjohi. I stand here as the chaplain of the youth at the PCA UK outreach. I've worked closely with PEP and the other members of the youth that have come here. I know that some are on the way coming, and I'm short of words, but I will say and speak as the Spirit guides me. Many people from the PCA UK outreach, will remember perhaps as the last time she stood outside the church, speaking to me, opening her heart to me. And as we shared with her, she, gave, she spoke her heart out. And she is a loving girl who loved her parents. And her reason for coming to me is because of the relationship that she had with her parents and also with the other members of the church. She has been a very active youth member in our church, a valued member, a cherished member of the youth community. She was the epitome of gentleness, kindness, humility, loving, and obedient. She had a twinkle in her eyes that, uh, that conveyed everything. Everyone that came into contact with her had their hearts melt because of the relationship. Uh, during the period that we've been going for prayers, I listened to so many people that came and, and said how they came to know her. Business people to businesses that she has visited. They confessed that they knew her as a gentle person. I remember one person that has a cafe and he said, I came because I knew her as a person, as a good girl, and wishing that many would be like her. I stand on behalf of the Presbyterian Church, the PCA UK outreach, to proclaim that flowers have been taken away They've been promoted to glory. On behalf of the young people, I start here to convey the heartaches that they went through, the questions that they asked, and the hope that they got in knowing that a life does not end in death, but ends in promotion to glory, because they knew what it means to be in relationship with God. On behalf of the church minister, who being miles away, is moved by your love, your compassion, and your presence, I pass his thanks to all friends, colleagues, church members, and all the church ministers that are here, that have been with the family through, the, the two families throughout the week long. I want ex um, at this moment to remember the office of the High Commissioner. They came to mourn with the family. They came to give us courage. They came to be with us. And we felt a sense of belonging because we knew that above everything else, our country knows that we are here and we are represented. And we thank you. Your Excellency. On behalf of the church minister and everyone else, 
I would like to say the following to the young people that are here today. As commissioned by my church, I want to remind you that you shall be a result of the choices that you make. Remember that in five years, you will be a different person with different friends and in a different environment that you are now. In 10 years time, some people that are very close to you, you shall be meeting them and you'll be asking them, remind me what your name was. So today I'm encouraging you to ensure that you make the right choices that will enable you to become the person that you are making of yourself today. Limit your choices so that as you go through life, the choices that you make will be of benefit to yourself and to others that come across your way. One well-activated talent will be worth a hundred shallow faculties. Focus will give you targets and you'll be able to achieve your targets if you pursue them. So focus so that you increase your energy and your concentration on your chosen path. Above all, I want to remind you young people that this life will be impossible without the presence of God in your life. Whoever you are and in whatever you do, may you choose God to guide you and to lead you. For the families, we convey our heartfelt condolences. May God give you strength. May he be with you. May he answer the questions that cannot be answered by a human being. God bless you. Praise be to God. That was such a powerful encouragement. Uh, Mrs. Wajoy didn't mention two powerful words. We make choices. And the other one is we, make, we do a focus. We focus and move forward. And she just reminded me about the characteristics of an ego. I always talk about this. An ego, when it's, it sees its prey, it focuses on it. It doesn't matter what is around it, it go for it. Let us go for our goals today. An ego will always fly above all other birds. It never flies with the common birds. It flies very high. It's the only bird known to fly high. Maybe next to the prey. And an ego will not just mate with any ego. It always makes choices. God bless you. We're going to all start together and sing the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Yes. As you sing that song, as you stand with me to sing this song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, it, it would be nice to reflect on the friend next to you and the friends that have left us and the friends that we know so that we can bring them in our mind and in our hearts that we may give God glory to it. Let us all start. <laughs>